Okay, so continuing with our discussion about partnerships, I'm now very pleased uh, to have a, a presentation from two organisations that um, have got together in order to promote partnerships. So um, I, I'm very pleased to, to invite our um, community partner, uh, Apex Platform, that is uh, Manish Diwan, who's the Managing Director of the ASEAN fin Financial Innovation Network. Hey. Welcome, Manish. And, okay. and Manish is going to be uh, uh, co-presenting with uh, Johnny Wajaya, who's the head of the APAC Innovation Center at uh, Bank of New York Mellon. Welcome, Johnny. Hi, everyone. Great to be here. I, I'm just going to check to see Hi, if much. your screen screen share comes up OK. Uh, I, Ivan will manage that. And uh, uh, so, you know, I, I'm, I'm very pleased, actually, you're going to talk about how uh, the Apex platform has uh, has helped um, Bank of New York Mellon find new partners. Sure, it's great. So, so I guess maybe we'll, we'll start with Manish, right? So, uh, uh, well, I think yeah. it's been yeah. Manish, hey, you want to go ahead? Uh, thanks, Johnny. Uh, thanks, John, and thanks uh, API Days for having us here. Uh, my name is Manish Divan. I run. Uh, apexplatform.com, which is essentially a product out of uh, ASEAN Financial Innovation Network, a uh, not-for-profit entity, which is supported actively by MAS, Monetary Authority of Singapore, uh, World Bank's IFC, ASEAN Bankers Association, AMTD and MasterCard, and of course, our strategic advisory council partners, including uh, BNY Mellon. Johnny uh, represents BNY Mellon here today. Uh, Apex essentially is a collaboration platform uh, we have been in uh, existence since about 2018, and we went commercial in 2019. And since then, we have seen a fair bit of success in what we do, essentially to bring up uh, together fintechs and financial institutions who can then use the Apex platform to speed up the process of working together towards a proof of concept. So think of Apex as a pre-procurement tool. Uh, where you come, you get access to a global fintech marketplace. We current, currently host uh, nearly 400 plus fintechs uh, on the marketplace. Uh, use their APIs to test and try and see what these fintechs can deliver for you. Use the Apex uh, data sets and Apex uh, uh, proprietary APIs, uh, 62 APIs available out of box to actually co-create a POC using the Apex sandbox, a secure sandbox, essentially eliminating the need for you to create as a financial institution, for you to create an, the, an infrastructure of your own, spending on the time, effort, and energy to do so. Essentially, it's a, it's a like I said, it's a collaboration tool, a collaboration platform. Uh, we, we, uh, we also run what we call as the Hackolysium, which is essentially a virtual hackathon platform. Uh, and, and I'm sure me and Johnny will talk a little bit more about that because uh, BNY Mellon has been a participant on the hack uh, on the Hackalysium platform with us uh, late last year with the Connect20 challenge. Uh, so I think that's uh, all from my side on the Apex introduction. Uh, I will hand it over to Johnny now for a quick introduction on uh, what he is doing at BNY Mellon on innovation. Thank you, Manish. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, it's great to be here and join Manish on on, on this uh, interesting discussion today about you know how the global FIs like BNY Mellon uh, uh, partner with the financial institutions, and and I think particularly with with Apex, I think we have uh, some good success, and and we share the same vision in terms of you know promoting the financial inclusions and 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 also looking at ways on how we can better promote and accelerate the partnerships between the uh, uh, fintechs and, and, and FIs. So so a little quick introduction about myself. Let me share my screen here. I've got a bit of a presentation slide to, to share with everybody. Uh, let me share my screen here. I'm assuming it is visible, yeah? Is it all good? Great. So, yeah, so a quick introduction. So, yeah, my name is Johnny Vijaya. <coughs> 
I'm the head of the APEC Innovation Lab at uh, uh, BNY Mellon, right? So where I basically look after uh, three pillars of what we do, uh, uh, really about, you know, how can we be better at, you know, trying things, running experimentations of a business idea. And secondly, it's about, you know, how can we also partner with the ecosystem probably in the region. And the third thing is also about, you know, how do we take some of this innovation and, and bring it to, uh, to the production or commercial, right? So a little bit about the the, the bank. Uh, uh, basically, uh, uh, we are 230 over years global bank. Uh, we has been playing an important role uh, for that many years uh, uh, in the global capital market infrastructure, right? So so today uh, we are the world largest custodian uh, where our client uh, entrusted us with about 41 trillion of asset under custodies. Uh, we are the, the top seven largest asset manager globally uh, with 2.2 trillion of asset under management. We are the sole clearer of the U.S. Treasury securities, uh, 3.6 trillion on the average uh, uh, tripartite collateral management balance, and 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 we are you are one of the world largest uh, clearing firm for broker dealers, right? Uh, uh, through our subsidiary pushing with more than two trillion, right? So 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 all these numbers really are, are telling about you know the role that we play in terms of you know providing and leading uh, 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 infrastructure in the global capital market, right? So, so as a 230 years uh, over organizations, uh, as really for us, it's really important, right? Uh, in the sense that it is a story about resiliency, reinvention, and innovations. So, as we think about uh, innovations at at, at at the bank, uh, uh, it's, it's really about we don't look at our innovation agenda as a separate agenda from the business agenda, right? So, so our innovation agenda essentially is our business agenda. Uh, we have been a, a very strong proponent of the open ecosystem and open architecture uh, for, for a number of years now, right? So what it really means is about, you know, uh, uh, for our client, it's all about how uh, we can play that unique role in terms of orchestrating and, and bringing together the best of the, the BNY Mellon uh, capability uh, uh, along with the best of the bridge solutions uh, from a third party uh, 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 ecosystems. And, and delivery in a way that uh, that is modular to the client, right? So what it really means about, you know, how do we help client to be able to, to pick and choose what will work best for them? But at the same time as well, how do we deliver it in a way that is integrated and, and frictionless, right? So so that is really what it means uh, uh, in terms of how we think about this. And internally as well, it's about, you know, how do we complement our uh, internal innovations uh, uh, with uh, third-party capabilities that can help us to accelerate uh, uh, our business agenda? Right. So, so, so on that note, there has been also been a lot of focus in terms of you know uh, the capabilities that that we are building as we think about the the innovation uh, within the bank, right? So, so as I mentioned earlier, uh, my team focus a lot in terms of you know how can we be good at the other possibles, right? How can we be really good at trying things? And this is where our innovation lab create the, the environment and and, uh, and, 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 and and programs that allow our business to leverage on and and, 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 and do that quick experimentation really quickly to learn fast and ultimately uh, getting into that decision-making uh, uh, to translate that idea into product or something that, you know, accessible to our clients. And, and, and on the second note as well, as we think about the open architecture, it's about embracing the world, right? It's, it's, it's really about we need to have uh, really good capabilities around uh, how we can uh, engage the ecosystem better, right? This is where we see there's a lot of values and, and, and in our partnership with the organization like Affin, right? It's about, you know, how can we engage the, the full fintech ecosystem around the world from, from, from the small one to the big ones uh, or, or even our competitors, right? And, and 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 also uh, you know how do we make it easier for 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 the ecosystem to work with us and 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 also when you know as we start working with the ecosystem it's about you know and and these startups is about you know how do we also enhance relationships to the next level right uh, it could be in the form of ventures and investment and so on and so forth right and 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 the last bit is really is about you know how can we deliver this whole capability across the enterprise in a way that scale right this is where we talk about you know how can we create enablers or enterprise programs that allow us to to do to do this at scale across the whole enterprise so a little bit, uh, uh, you know, in terms of how we engage with the ecosystem, right? This is just a, uh, some example of, of uh, you know, uh, 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 key programs that we have uh, within the bank. Uh, uh, we have our accelerator program that really focus on, on the early startups 
where where we bring in a, a startup that that you know that we see there's a lot of potentials and and we marry them with our subject matter expertise giving them mentorships giving them a real business challenge uh, over a certain period of time are helping us to to solve a particular problem and 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 ultimately you know helping the startup to to get to where they are and and, and essentially it is uh, you know uh, helping us as well in terms of uh, solving some of this problem then ultimately you know when 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 this startup graduate they could be either our partners or, or even the company that we may want to invest right uh, uh, uh fintech express uh, uh i mean earlier uh, uh money spoke about the the, the procurements right uh, as we all know i think sometimes the uh, third party governance process can be a lengthy process uh, we have been really very mindful around that as well in the sense that you know how can we make it easier for us to onboard the fintech as as, as they work with us especially you know uh, for those low risk type of engagement uh, we also have a global venture capital advisory board where we strategically uh, work together uh, with a, a number of VCs uh, that sit within the advisory advisory board in terms of you know advising us on how we we, we engage the world uh, and, and also advising some of our uh, uh, startup within our portfolio and and vice versa as well you know uh, having the opportunity for us. Uh, to see uh, the likes of uh, the emerging startup within the the the, the portfolio of the VC companies uh, uh, that that we have never been seen before, right? So so this kind of give you a bit of sense. This is an example of some of the uh, companies within our portfolios, uh, and 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 it's also important for us to continue to uh, educate, you know, elevate in the sense of you know how can we better tell the world and the ecosystem about what we do. Uh, ultimately, this is important, right? Uh, uh, so that then you know we can we can get into that level of collaborations uh, that is meaningful, right? So so we have if we, since Singapore we have a Singapore fintech festival. Uh, for the bank, we also have our premier innovation event. We call it Connect. Uh, Connect is our premier event that we run on the annual basis, where we actually bring together uh, the uh, portfolio companies uh, uh, within our partnerships along with the thought leaders uh, in the industry, in the VC, in the whole ecosystem coming together, uh, talk about the issue that matters to, to our clients, right? Talk or showcasing about how do we actually partner together and, and what are some of the lessons learned and where we see the industry is going. So that's kind of like, you know, a really a short and quick introduction in terms of, of what we do. Obviously, uh, we have a lot more uh, exciting programs uh, that, you know, I hope that I can share again uh, in, in, in the next time. Yeah, there's really a quick introduction from me. Hope it is helpful. Uh, I guess back to you, Manish. Hey, well, thanks, thanks, Johnny, for for bringing us up to speed on what you're doing. Uh, I wanted to actually ask you a few questions. Of, uh, of, of uh, I'm gonna try and cover a few points that uh, were there. Uh, what BNY's view is on uh, you know digital partnerships? How how do you see that? Uh, how important and how critical it is to to what you want to do over the next say uh, uh, mid to long term yeah so so a uh, couple of things really right manish as i mentioned earlier we do we, we see the the digital partnership has an integral part of our business strategy right so so we ourselves is actually a, a strong proponent of the open architecture so what it really means is that as we build our solutions uh, for our client, we look at it as the uh, ecosystems where, as I mentioned earlier, we bring together the best of BNY Mellon along with the best of the industries, right? So, so therefore, it is really important for us to be able to master the art of collaborations, right? I think I think people talk about uh, 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 innovation, innovator. People talk about disruptor, but here we are talking about collaborator, right? Uh, yeah, exactly that. So, so it's really important for us uh, to, to 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 focus on that. That is why I think, uh, as I shared earlier, uh, uh, we've been really in, uh, you know focusing along uh, along uh, investing around you know uh, building our partnership capability. That is really about people who really understand on them of how to engage ecosystem. How do we partners understand the challenges and having the empathy uh, uh, with 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 you know uh, startups around the world, right? But I think it's also important for us to explain uh, 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 basically that you know when we think about the collaborations uh, within between startup and us, it's really is about you know sharing that same vision. When we say sharing that same vision, it's really about a couple of things, right? So one is really is about hey, this is where we come together to complement our strengths. 
right? You yeah. may have a certain capability that we don't have, but we also have the capability that you don't have. Yes. Uh, and a lot of time is, is really is about, you know, uh, bringing in that subject matter expertise, right? Bringing in that, that, that voice of a client or users that you can tap on, right? Uh, to truly understand the, the, the problem that you're trying to solve for, right? And 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 then the third thing is also about you know that 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 itself is certainly help you in terms of informing your your product roadmap and direction that you're going, and and the last thing which is also important is also about accelerator adoptions, right? Mm. Yeah, uh, uh, bringing you in front of our client when you have the accelerator adoptions. No, that's that's great to hear. I, I think uh, two or three very pertinent points. You know, it's uh, it's about collaboration. It's about complementing because you know. Uh, I see a lot of conversations where uh, people take a defensive view, saying that, you know, I already do this and uh, why do I need a, a external help? Uh, it's great to hear that at BNY, you know, you, you actually look forward for uh, uh, services which are complementing uh, to what you do today. Uh, that's great. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to know is, you know, how does one partner with, a, with, a, with, a, with an organization like BNY, you know, $41 trillion in uh, in custodian uh, assets and and I'm so many zeros in there, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, and and I and you, I'm 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 sure you are not looking for any run of the mill uh, fintech collaborations, uh, you know, which is very different from normal retail or normal B two B fintech uh, capabilities. So how 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 do you part? How does one actually reach out to a to a BNY Mellon and say that you know? I, I can help you do something. Yeah, that's that's a, that's really a great question, right? Uh, uh, I think particularly, uh, you know, especially we don't run ATM machines, right? So so a, a lot of people actually <laughs> don't see us, but but and often we are referred by the bank of the banks uh, 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 because of of that 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 many zeros that that we talked about earlier. Yeah. So so obviously, I think I think on our end is is a lot of work of 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 course for us as well in terms of you know education and engaging the ecosystem. Right. Uh, uh, this is where, uh, for exact same reason, that why we stand up the uh, you know venture capital advisory board, for example. Right. So that's really a way for us, you know, to 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 get the uh, the fintech, uh, uh, you know, understand about us. Right. But 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 not only that, it's also about how do we broaden the reach and and partner with uh, you know organization that can help us. Uh, 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 to to elevate our brand and and get to a space where people can understand us better, right? Which is where I, I see there's a lot of value in our partnership with Affin, which is really is about you know how do we level the the, the playing fields and bringing together these uh, sort of the best, right? Of, of of the startup from all over the world, uh, uh, and and I think that has been proven uh, uh, working uh, well for us, especially especially in the emerging markets, right? Uh, we have a we are pretty well known, have a very good uh, sort of uh, feasibility and relationship with the ecosystem in, in the developed markets. Uh, 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 Afin has certainly helped us a lot in the sense of, you know, elevating uh, in the emerging markets, right, particularly. But not only that, but it's also helping us in, 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 in thinking differently, right? Uh, earlier when I talk about, you know, how can we stand up a different way of working or different programs that allow us to, to better work with a startup? So, 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 so that is uh, kind of like I think you mentioned uh, uh, earlier about Epic's platform and, and the hackathon that we did. Uh, it, it went really well, right? So we are able to bring together uh, uh, three real business challenges that we want to solve. We're able to attract the participation from five continents, right? Nineteen countries, and we're able to partner with uh, a platform that is truly reliable in that sense, right? That that you can run that global hackathon. Sorry, Manish, you're on mute. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, no, thanks for that, Johnny. I, I know we, uh, uh, we had a long discussions when, uh, you know, we, we were just starting to discuss about Connect20. And, uh, you know, to tell you very frankly, you know, we were also kind of uh, uh, aware of the fact that, you know, Apex is not really known for, you know, the, the kind of work that you do. Uh, and we were also, you know, a bit aware, a bit wary of the fact that, you know, how do we get the right context in place? How do we reach out to the right uh, ecosystem players, uh, fintechs, uh, who would come forward and respond to uh, the three problem statements that you had on the Connect20 challenge that uh, was hosted on the Apex uh, Hackathon? Uh, uh, 
uh, last year and, uh, and and no uh, uh, how do you see how do you see this whole uh, uh, your partnership with us morphing into what you are doing how do how do you see that uh, complementing what you do uh, in the coming say 12 to 18 months yeah I, I, I think that's a great question, but maybe uh, I see it more like, uh, uh, you know, we're already learning a lot of good lessons here, right? And and I think that will be a, a good capital for us uh, uh, to build up on that even further, right? Uh, in the next six to 12 months, right? So, so for example, I think uh, uh, we were looking for a startup who can uh, help us to solve uh, particular challenges, right? Uh, I mean, we can do it the way we are doing it in the old way, right? Or, or the current, yeah. And, and and that's where we thought that, you know, well, why don't we partner with Apex and, and run a global hackathon? And, and, and that actually become a, a sort of a way of working as well for us, right? Uh, uh, and I think it, it benefit us and it benefit the ecosystem as well. Uh, uh, yeah, let me talk about that, right? So, so, so internally for us is that we see that you know this 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 become apparent that you know this uh, this this is this could be one of the way for us to find the right solutions uh, uh, to our our needs right uh, uh, and 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 the hackathon itself you know uh, 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 you know you give opportunity as well uh, uh, for the startups to, to, to better understand our needs because we have like the Q&A session, interactive session, clarification, and, and all those kind of stuff. And I think going through all those questions also refine our thinking in terms of, you know, what are the kind of a, a problem statement that, you know, will be, will, will works well in, in, in this kind of a hackathon construct, right? Uh, and, 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 and also having a good sense of that, uh, uh, it, it certainly help us as well, right? Ultimately, you know, we don't want to exhaust the, the, the startups, right? You know, but where we want is, is really, it's about, you know, can we get a space whereby number one, we pose a real business challenges that is not proprietary to us that startup cannot solve. Right. Number two, how do we get the, the, the fintech uh, access to the SMEs so they have a better appreciation? Number three, you know, how can we help the fintech, you know, spend a bit of calories, right? It's kind of like a, a quick way, uh, not having to spend too much effort, but also able to understand what we need, right? And then, and then, and then, hopefully, throughout that process, we arrive into you know a, a list of a startups that we can take it on to the to the next level, right? Whether we are doing POC with them, we are taking them through our accelerator programs, or or, or any means, right? Yep. That's um, that's great insight, yeah. actually, Johnny and and Manish. Actually, um, it is a great lead up to our next session, but it's also um, I think it's probably prompted uh, a number of questions. So. If I'm a if I'm a fintech and I want to partner with uh, BNY Mellon, um, a good way is to uh, to firstly get on the Apex platform, and uh, so I, I want to Manish, perhaps you want to do a, a thirty second promotion for the uh, the workshop you guys are running. I think at Prem from Affin and yes. um, and Laurentius from Brancas are running at three thirty uh, this afternoon. Yes, I, I think it's extremely important. Uh, anybody is interested in uh, taking part in what uh, BNY does and a lot of other financial institutions from across the globe, nearly 70 plus of them on the Apex platform. It's very critical that you uh, that you be a part of the Apex platform. It's fairly simple. Uh, it's free for any fintech up to Series B funding for 12 months uh, up till December this year. And and uh, be a part of our ecosystem and uh, to know more about what we do and how we do and how convenient it is for you to actually showcase your capabilities in a in a time when you know when when travels are barred and you cannot go anywhere to meet your clients and prospective customers how you can use the apex platform to 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 promote what you do uh, to to make a profile for yourself and uh, uh, it's uh, it's something that is of interest to fintechs from across the world. And uh, we invite you to join us at 3.30 when Prem, who is the chief operating officer uh, for Apex, and uh, Lawrence, who is part of our tech team from Brankas, uh, will be taking you through a deep dive demo of the same. Yeah. Thanks very much, Manish. That's a good lead in. That's, that's 3.30 PM today, Singapore time. So if you're yeah. in another time zone, make the adjustment. But uh, it's certainly um, a very practical session on what it takes to, to join the, the Apex uh, platform. Thanks very much, Johnny, for, for insights on, on how you guys uh, partner with, with FinTechs. Um, 
we're going to bring Manish back in a moment um, one after I've introduced our, our, our panel. But um, thanks, uh, thanks very much, both of you.